plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Hold tight and welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. Now, if there's one thing that cats hate, is sludged up radiators. Every cat hates that and I'm no different. Firstly, the way you know that your radiator might be sludged up is if you go to the said radiator that you think you've got a problem with, if it's cold at the bottom and hot at the top, it usually means that you've got sludge in the radiator. Now, short of power flushing it out, which most of you guys probably don't have power flushers unless you're full on plumbers, I've got a power flusher, it's amazing. Basically what you're going to do is whip off that individual radiator, take it outside and give it a good hose through. So it's a really quick video so you've got a bit more knowledge going into it. So maybe take your own rad off, take it outside, hose it through, get that sludge out, whack it back up on the wall, and then I'll tell you at the end of the video, how are you gonna prevent this sludge happening again? And if it comes back, which it can, it can be sludge a hassle. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Listen, let's go. So here we go is the radiator here. I don't know if it's got any sludge in it or not, but for demonstration purposes, it's a good idea that I use a really small one. Someone suggested that I should do like a 2000 by 600 double panel convector. No, I'm not doing that in a video. I'm not gonna bust my back, taking off a rad on my own and trying to flush it out. No, this little baby here, was this a 400 by 400 single panel convector will do just fine. All we need to do first is isolate the radiator and dissipate the pressure out of the bleed key. So we'll turn this valve off just here, pop the cap off this, then use our adjustable to turn this off. Then here just a simple wee little bleed and just dissipate the pressure out of the beast. Now that's stopped, we know that these two valves are holding. Now next thing we want you to do is shut this again, okay? Once that's stopped, shut the air vent again. We're gonna get a beautiful towel. This is a great towel here. And we're going to lay it out in front of our radiator. This is a, this is a gorgeous towel. One of my favourites, a personal favourite towel here. We're also going to get rid of this bit of poo roll. If there's nothing I hate more, it's wet poo roll. Right, next thing is we just slacken off the nut on here and the nut on there. There might be a little bit of water come out, but we're ready for that. Now you're going to love this, it's a quality trick, okay? We're going to slap that off there, slap that off there, we'll lift the radiator up and then flip this down so this is on the floor, but the nuts are still hanging there. Pull them off and you can flip the radiator up, you'll get no water come out, you might get a drip. And if you do, we've got one of the best, most amazing pattern towels here to uh, scoop all that up. So let's do that now. Jesus Christ. So just slack that off, same this end. Just slacken that off. Right, and then just lift the radiator up like so, right? And then flop it down like this. Now there's no water coming out, okay? This rad is still full of water here. All we need to do now is you can slap this off with your fingers, pop each one of these off, lift it up, put your fingers over the end and take the rad outside. Now if there's more, if it's a bigger radiator, two of you can do this. Sometimes this just doesn't work. If you haven't got enough flex in the pipe or it won't let you lift the rad up and down, you know, it, it just won't work because there's no movement. Then you're gonna have to get yourself a proper little radiator drain kit uh, and do it like that. But I'm happy, I'm happy lad. Also, I really love the old color scheme out in here. Right, so, Take them two off, just pop that out like that, pop this one out, and there we go. Right, so now we can take this round outside and get ready to flush it through. Right, firstly, now we're outside, just tip out all this stuff out the wall radiator. As you can see, this is a really clean radiator, looking really nice. But you never know, there might be a bit of sludge in there. So we'll let all that out. Grab yourself a garden hose and basically try and get it over the end or try and get it so it's up against the radiator, okay? Get ready to hold this on because you're going to turn mains water on and blast this radiator through. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, if we do this to a radiator, it's going to get rid of pretty much most of the sludge in it. But sometimes what I'll do is I'll go in from this end, that end, I'll even take the bleeds off at the top, pop a little spigot in there and try and blast that that way. And then you know for sure that you've actually blown out all the sludge from the radiator. Let's turn this off now. I'm going to blow it a few other ways, but I'm not going to film that because it's boring. And then I'm going to take this back upstairs and show you how to pop it back on the wall. <laughs> so right, I flush this beast out uh, and it's going to go back on the wall easy peasy. So, I mean, just hang it as you would a normal radiator. I'm sure a lot of you know how to do that. So I'm just going to get it back on its hooks. I'll just tighten this little baby back up. Now I'll tighten them two back up, we're just going to turn these two valves on and then bleed the air out of the radiator. 
set this back to where it was, this is the lock shield, give that about a quarter of a turn uh, because this is an upstairs radiator. Uh, if you want to know about that, go to our video on how to balance a heating system. Alright, let's just let some pressure in here. Open this end as well. Right, and then pop back up here and we'll vent the air out. Hey, there we go. So boom, there we are, all done. The radiator is back on the wall. It's been flushed out. I hope we've given you better knowledge about how to get some sludge out your radiators and why you might want to do it. Really what you've got to now think about is why you got sludge in your radiator in, in the first place. Uh, you're probably going to find there's a problem with the other radiators, so you might want to go around and check. Uh, do the same thing. If they're big rads, get someone to help you. And also, when you're finished uh, with a pressurised system, obviously always top the system back up. Or if it's a uh, feed and expansion, it should do it itself. If you need any more advice, information and love, please follow us on Twitter because we do tweet a lot. Uh, a lot of the things that we do on a daily basis are much more Twitter based. If we see any dreadful like plumbing installs or anything like that, we'll take pictures of them and post them to you. And likewise, if you guys see anything, often you'll take a picture of it, send it to us and we'll retweet it to the whole group. Uh, so please do follow us on Twitter. Likewise, again, follow us on Facebook. And as ever, subscribe to our videos on YouTube. That's a massive help. Like and favourite. And remember, before you go, if you've got any questions, you want a question answered, or you think you've got a question that might be good for a little video, please just comment on that video and we will pick that one out for the week and then do a quick piece to camera about that particular thing and how to fix it. I'll see you all soon, everyone, and I hope you have a lovely week. Big up yourselves and hold tight throughout the night. Blah, blah, blah! Plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice.